Hey there, nerd dads. It's middle grade author R. Chris Wells coming at you today with another episode of Dungeons with Dad. And on today's episode, we're going to be looking at the Starfinder Beginner's Box and seeing if it is the perfect introduction to RPGs for your kids. Let's check it out. All right, so let's check out the Starfinder Beginner Box. And I will say before I begin this review, I did receive this Starfinder Beginner Box compliments of Paizo, but I do want you to know that I've received no other compensation for this review, so I'm going to be able to give you my absolute 100% honest feedback. All right, so let's see what's inside the Starfinder Beginner Box. So first you've got some stands for your pawns that we'll see in a moment. Some nice die, I like that jet black. The Hero's Handbook. The Game Master's Guide. Some really handy cards to let you know what you can do on your turn, as well as the common conditions in the game. Very nice. A really great teaching tool. A little promo for Munchkin Pathfinder, which is pretty fun. Several character sheets for the pre-made characters. And then some Starfinder character sheets. And I love this right here on the left-hand side, showing all the different die shapes. That's great for people new to the system or new to tabletop role-playing. A really high-quality play mat, very nice. Some clear instructions about how to use the beginner box, whether you're playing with a group or maybe you're playing on your own. And then the pawns. And let me tell you what, my kids loved these pawns. They are high quality. They are fun. And my kids just can't get enough of the monsters and the creatures and NPCs that are in this set. All right, so let's dive into the Starfinder Heroes Handbook to get a flavor for the system and see if this is something that you and your family might enjoy for game night. And as you open it up, you see here the table of contents. Of course, the first part's going to focus on character creation, but then you're going to see skills and feats, equipment, playing the game. There's a really nice extended example of play there, as well as where to go from here after you complete the beginner's box. And one thing that I think is really cool about these beginner boxes, not only the Pathfinder beginner box, but the Starfinder beginner box, are the solo adventures that are included here. So a GM that's just thinking through this system for their family can play a solo game here to get their mind around the system. And I really like that. There's your example of play. Character creation overview. I love the step-by-step -step character creation process. Super simple, super easy to roll up a character if you just follow these steps. All right, now I love this class suggestions page because it's going to help you speed up character creation. And, you know, for beginners, we don't know the system. This is going to help you make sure that the choices that you make maximize your fun. If you've picked a Technomancer, you want it to work and work great. If you've picked a Soldier, you want to make sure that you have the right skills and feats and equipment to enjoy that class. This helps you do that. All right, here are the various character races. Here are the themes. You know, the themes in Starfinder, so basically like backgrounds and Pathfinder and Dungeons and Dragons. Really cool. And they give a lot of science fiction flavor, which is really fun. And now we're to the classes. Here's the envoy, the mechanic, the mystic, the operative, the soldier, the technomancer. That looks so fun. I love that intersection between technology and magic. A section on skills to help you beef up your character. Feats. This is something I love about the Pathfinder system and the Starfinder system. All the feats that you get in this game make it so fun. And it makes you create characters that are so rich and complex. And you're not going to have two Technomancers that are exactly the same in this system. And I love that. Playing the game. And let me tell you, one thing that I love about the Starfinder Beginner Box, as well as the Pathfinder Beginner Box, is how clear everything is presented with an eye towards a brand new player. This, of course, is a D20 system, very similar to Dungeons & Dragons, with some fun modifications and science fiction flair. But this section really helps you understand the different modes of play, whether it's exploration or combat. With just a quick read over this, you're going to be able to understand the system and communicate it to your kids. Of course, it wouldn't be a science fiction game without starships. My kids love the idea of that. And then, of course, there are just really clear illustrations about movement, about combat. This is how a beginner box needs to be. Unlike some other beginner boxes for other systems, I find that the explanations on these pages are just so crystal clear and so helpful, and these pictures really take all the ambiguity away. And then I just love this back page with this space goblin. Of course, it's kind of cartoony and fun. My kids really dug looking at this guy. 
whether he's asleep, flat-footed, frightened, hampered. They just thought this was great. And then on the back is a handy combat reference guide. Now here's a quick look at the Game Master Guide. Again, I'm not going to show you every single page because I want you to go out and buy the beginner box. But the Starfinder Game Master's Guide has everything you need to not only Game Master the adventure included in the beginner box, but also to create your own adventures at these early levels of play. And so this is a perfect, perfect first stop if you're interested in the Starfinder system. Again, you can see here the table of contents with the Adventure Steel Talons layer, which I'm going to be real. This is a super fun adventure. Your kids are going to instantly connect with this setting because there is, spoiler alert, a awesome robot dragon in this adventure. And you can see here there's game mastering helps, how to build your own adventure, and then some world building that's specifically tied to Starfinder as well as rules references at the end. Now, I have always been impressed with Pathfinder's materials, how well the dungeons are explained that's definitely the case here with Starfinder. Every room is notated by a number, and the flavor text is just enough, and the monster stat blocks are included right there on the page. That is so helpful. Now, you'll notice that as the game progresses, that there are breakouts that summarize the rules. I love how intentional this beginner box is in walking through rules as you encounter them. So these little breakout sections are going to help you as a game master be able to teach them a new skill with almost every room in this dungeon. It's very nice. Again, I won't show you every page. There's a helpful section here on game mastering, how to run tabletop role-playing games in general, but specifically Starfinder. And honestly, these notes here are worth their weight in gold. They're just really well-defined, super simple. This takes the stress out of being a game master, let me tell you. Again, just a few looks at what this book contains. Rules for terrain, rules for environmental hazards, DCs for different materials and objects you can destroy, traps. There's some fun lore about the Starfinder world, Absalom Station. That's a key location in the Starfinder world. Love this. Look at that art. That's cool. I love the solar system that's presented in the packed worlds. All right, and then there's a really helpful section explaining the monster stat blocks. So again, this is going to take out the stress of being a game master. These stat blocks are a little different than, say, Dungeons and Dragons. This walks you through exactly how they are laid out. And my kids just love these monsters. They're so fun. They're so vivid. They have amazing abilities. My kids love flipping through this section. All right, so what do I think about the Starfinder Beginner Box? Listen, if you're interested in Starfinder, trying it out as a system, you've got to start here. The explanations that are included in the Beginner Box, the adventure that's included that walks you through dungeon rooms that emphasize the different rules of the game, it truly is the best way to learn the system. Now, I do want to take a moment to address the concern that I know a lot of parents have, that Pathfinder is Mathfinder, that Starfinder is Mathfinder, and it's going to be too crunchy for my kids. Really? Not really. You as the Game Master need to dedicate time to learning the rules of the system and the character creation and all of these things. But your kids, they don't have to know all those rules. You can help them. In fact, I like that kids are learning math through these games. This is one of the awesome perks of playing tabletop role-playing games with kids. You're, you're teaching them math. You're teaching them critical thinking skills. You're teaching them how to work together as a team. I don't think that Starfinder and Pathfinder are beyond our kids. You can always simplify, you can always pair back, but the rules are there if you want to take them deeper and if you want to have a more fair ruling over situations that arise in the game. So I highly recommend the Starfinder Beginner Box. Listen, when you compare this to other systems like D&D, their starter set, the Starfinder Beginner Box and the Pathfinder Beginner Box blows those systems out of the water because of all the goodies that you get in this box. And so I highly recommend, if you're wanting to try out Starfinder, checking out the beginner box. This really is an S-tier product because of all that you get in the box, the quality of the materials, and the clear, cohesive explanations. If your kids love science fiction, if they love Star Wars, if they love watching movies pertaining to those themes, you're going to make some awesome memories with this system. Check it out. All right, well, that's all for today's episode of Dungeons with Dad. If you liked that episode, please like and subscribe and check us out next time right here on Dungeons with Dad.